was looking at the mountains here, we've got snow on the mountains. It was minus two degrees coming over the Crown Range. It's about one degree here this morning, so it's very crisp, but hey, no wind, lakes very, very calm. So we've got to go across the lake and into the entrance of the Matukitok, which is about a 51K run up the river. And it's a braided river, it's falling. And of course that river can be really, really tricky on a falling river. It's dirty and it's very fine shingle. So you don't go very far when you do run aground. Not normally do a lot of boat damage. This boat driven by Gareth Munro, currently sixth overall at the moment in A class, which is really good. So how do you think you'll go today? Uh, pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll be just stick to how we've been going all week and keep our foot down when we can and take it easy where we have to. Gareth's never boated this river before. He actually hasn't even pre-boated this river. So, hey, his experience, I think, will get him through and he'll have to be careful. Regan Williamson said he was coming out with all guns blazing, but his guns didn't light up this morning. The gas turbine had flat batteries or a crook battery from a high-speed spin a couple of days ago, so that was the end of his race. Next failure was Ben Baxter. Ben had a jet unit failure, which was a bearing gone in the pump. Couldn't fix it, two DNFs. Come around the top corner of the lake up there, we could smell something melting in the back of the boat. And it uh, got worse as we come through here, and it turns out it's a unit bearing. So, what has that done? We have to pull it out and have a good look, but things have been pretty hot in the back, so something's gone wrong there. Hoping to be back in this afternoon. Should get fixed for the closer, but like we said, got to have a look and see how much damage is done. And our only overseas competitor, Ryan Ringer, he had an engine failure, which I believe uh, no oil pressure, so he never got across the lake either. We made it about three miles, and uh, the low oil pressure light came on, and I looked down at the tack and uh, started losing revs, and uh, oil pressure dropped to zero. Rob Pauley had a dry sump belt come off on the way up, but of course that pump is what feeds the engine with oil, so that was the end of his day. Amazing, Gareth Munro, who never pre-boated this river, got up and down, and he got the thumbs up crossing the line, so he's a happy guy. Not so happy was me. Nigel was driving my old boat. He never made it over the finish line. Within sight of the finish line, he ran aground. Pushing real hard because we've got nothing to lose out of it, so I'm um, just seeing what the boat was doing. Last corner we could actually see the finish line went over, um, tried to cut a corner and went over a sandbank and came to a stop. It's a bit embarrassing when everyone can watch, especially uh, Dad looking on. So, um, but yeah, no, we would have had a good time, so yeah, we're, we're feeling pretty good about it.